When we first started, our name Shellworks comes from the fact that we used to uh, experiment with shellfish waste and extract a biopolymer called chitosan and make the solutions from that. And formerly known as Heckles actually was instrumental in helping us figure out the direction of the company because one of the challenges we had with that was one, also from a mature property perspective, but also um, that it wasn't vegan. So I'm Insia, I'm the founder and CEO of Shellworks, and at Shellworks we're building a world in which the materials, the products that we touch, um, are going to be waste-free, toxic-free. Um, and, you know, we've been going for about five and a half years now, and formerly known as Heckles has actually been a partner throughout that entire journey. So one of our first ever people and partners. Um, and funnily enough, you know, they've seen our entire transition, so, And they were really the pioneers in this space, uh, especially in skincare and beauty. And so collaborating with them actually helped us find our technology today, which is uh, microbial polymers. Our key technology is something called Vivima, and it's a platform of materials that is essentially a collaboration with nature. And the way that it works is you, our natural environment has microorganisms that make polymers in their cell. So basically natural plastics. Um, honestly, if nature had made plastic, this would really be it. You, you have plant matter, right? Um, and you feed it to these organisms and you grow that up using fermentation, kind of what we use to make cheese, for example. And what you're left with is actually a material that behaves just like a plastic. Uh, and then what we do is we do a lot of material science and formulation work to be able to get it to work into basically the plastic systems that we have. I think something when we reflect on this journey that we've been on together is that it has been, hasn't been without its up and downs, uh, right? I think whenever you're innovating and building something new, uh, there are just so many different roadblocks or challenges you have to work through. Um, and they've really done it all with us. So actually when we first launched, we were working, we only had a rigid material. So we'd, you know, we'd come up with all these ways to dispense, you know, a serum, using a methodology that maybe you would use for like a soy sauce bottle. Um, and so you had to like hold this device and like put the drips out. And obviously like for a consumer, it wasn't the best experience. And I think what's great about it is that we've been able to kind of test these things out live until our material technology has been able to evolve and grow. And actually now we're launching a pipette dropper, which has like a flexible top. A lot of people can't believe that it's possible, but and now we're able to give that consumer experience, which is from a beautiful piece of packaging, uh, aesthetic, user experience, um, but we were able to like test and iterate with a partner in real life as we went about doing that. At Shellworks, what we set out to do by building these solutions was actually a solution that um, when you disposed of it, a consumer didn't have to worry or think about what happened to it. Um, because essentially, it'll break down in every environment. But of course, we're always trying to do what's the best case scenario, right? Um, as sustainability enthusiasts, we want it to be uh, the least impact as possible. So if you have the solution, the best possible thing you could do is actually compost it. Um, so if you've got a home composter, backyard composter, do that. Um, if not, I mean, honestly, take it back to formerly known as Heckles. I know uh, Dom's got this amazing farm and he's kind of been composting the products, uh, the packaging there as well. But if not, I'd say put it in your general trash because the reality is like our waste system isn't optimized. I mean, it's this problem we set out to solve in the first place. Uh, what, and what happens is that it's likely going to end up in a landfill or incineration. But it's in both of those scenarios, it's still going to be better than your plastic because it's not going to emit those nasty VOCs. It'll still degrade um, like paper would in a landfill. So the net benefit is still gonna be better than using your petrochemicals.